Hello everyone, this is David the Limit. Before we start this video, I would like to tell you that English is not my primary language, so please forgive any pronunciation or spelling errors. Thank you. The 2019 Moji P season just started, and it's already surrounded by controversy. And today we're gonna take a look at the controversy surrounding Ducati. Ducati Sandredo which will see the last band victory in the opening MotoGP of the season in Qatar on Sunday after a breathless record-breaking controversial race. The Italian Faris bike passed the Repsol Honda world champion Mark Marquez on the home straight, taking the flag just 0.023 seconds ahead of his rival. Alleged mysterious device. Though it's also by contrast leaped to an early lead, perhaps thanks in part to mysterious new technology on his Ducati. The Bologna outfit appeared to employ a special Hoshio device. True to give an advantage from the line, the Vizioso was served on the grid flicking a dashboard switch and rocketed away from the pack. But the Italian was unable to stretch his advantage and soon found himself overhauled by Alex Rins, riding the impressively rounded Suzuki. The two then battled closely, with Marquez, who had set a new lap record in qualifying, also entering the fry. Anyway, after the race, protests were latched. The win was not without question marks, however, Honda, Suzuki, Apil and KTM lodged a protest at a new aerodynamic wing on the Ducati's rear suspension. The protest was rejected through an appeal was later lodged. Post-race the riders elected to focus on the contest rather than the controversy. Marcus gave it everything he could, as usual, and pushed him to the limit of its also to the porters. We have made the most of our strengths, that is, acceleration and toe speed, but we still need to improve our corner speed. This year there are plenty of quick riders, and it will be crucial not to lose too many points on less favorable tracks. Now we come to the rejected appeal. Moji P stores have thrown out a protest against Ducati, following Sunday evening's 2019 season opening Qatar Grand Prix, meaning Andrea Dovizioso keeps his victory. An investigation was launched after the race, but ultimately it was deemed by Moji P technical delegates that the part in question is legal. Danilo Petrucci had run the part, which is believed to assist star cooling. In practice before both he and factory got the teammate, the Vizioso adopted it for the race. The apparent Prama rider Jack Miller, who retired, were all protested. A MotoGP statement said that based on guidelines and regulations currently enforced, the FIM MotoGP steward panel rejected the protests. That meant both the Vizioso victory and Petrucci's sixth place finish became official. But the row is ongoing. A MotoGP statement released sometime after the statement reached the decision said the matter has not been referring to the Court of Appeal at motorcycle race governing body of the FIAM. The appeal panel have subjectively decided to refer the case to the MotoGP Court of Appeal in order to attain more information pertaining to the matter it read. Ducati's statement Sebati said the situation was reminiscent of how Ducati rivals protested against the aerodynamic wings he had pioneered in the late 2015 and 16, which were eventually banned. The ruling led to a proliferation of complex aerodynamic fairings designed to compensate of the loss of the wings. I believe that this is more a political question of sporting one, Sebati told all the sport on Sunday night in Qatar. You've seen before how some have tried to restrict the aerodynamic technical innovations introduced by the cut in the championship. And we have already said many times that, that from our point of view that those do not do any good to the championship. Now you question yourself, what is this part that is so controversial? And now we're going to take a look at what this part actually is. It was thought that Danilo Petrucci has been using the new device, particularly the rear, to push air over the tires to cool him down, as he is a big man with aggressive riding style. The turn has confirmed this is not what they're for, but when then went on to say he couldn't tell anyone what the real purpose is, as he will get his pants pulled down. I can't tell you because Gigi gets angry. We saw on television that they said it was to cool down the rear tire. But in fact, that's not the real reason," said Petrucci, speaking at the track. There is also another part on the front. I asked, "What is its purpose?" But unfortunately, I cannot tell you, as it is in my contract. 
the case has now been referring to the FIA M Court of Appeal and a final decision should be made before the next race in Argentina. So basically we got uh, little to none answers. The new season is uh, already surrounded by controversy and I think it's going to be a very interesting uh, season to come. Uh, other than that, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. This is AV Limit and see you in the next one everybody. Uh, bye bye.